We are looking for the lost city of Zarahemla. We believe we know where to look. Cities are the crowning achievements of civilizations. It is in cities that people enjoy the benefits that come when labor specializes. It is in cities where people join together in common defense of their families and homes. A lost city is proof that a civilization has fallen. We believe that 1,600 years ago, Zarahemla was the largest city in North America. In its time, Zarahemla was larger than London. This city was the center of government for a nation that occupied as much as a million square miles. It was the center of trade and commerce. It was the center of religion and civil life. Zarahemla was on the Mississippi and that fact connected it to major waterways throughout the heartland of North America. The control of fire goes hand in hand with the development of cities. Fires are essential for heat, light, and cooking. Fire is an important part of the lives of potters, smiths, and warriors. Fire makes it possible to live through the cold winter. Fire allows for the accumulation of wealth that comes from agriculture and trade. If people do not learn to control fire, they will not be able to build cities. The Book of Mormon tells us that in A.D. 320, General Mormon in Zarahemla commanded 45,000 Nephites against a large Lamanite army. The size of his forces suggests that the city of Zarahemla was more than 100,000 people. It was a large pre-industrial city. Such a city would have more than 10,000 fire pits in homes and places of industry. Ancient fire pits are the evidence of ancient city life. We estimate that Zarahemla had a city area of more than 200 acres. There were thousands of homes that had thousands of fire pits. These ancient fires are the target in our search for Zarahemla. Here are the hard facts from science. Iron containing materials are extremely common on the surface of the earth. Iron has very strong magnetic properties that are accurately and easily measured. Heat changes the magnetic properties of iron in soils and rocks. Man-made fires have sufficient heat to change the magnetic properties of these iron particles. Once the magnetic properties are changed, they will remain in that changed state for thousands of years. These facts are important as we use census technology to discover the ancient city of Zarahemla. Man magnetic forces are everywhere. Earth is largely protected from a stream of energetic charged particles emanating from the sun by its magnetic field. The Earth's magnetic forces are essential for life as we know it. The sensing tubes on the census equipment measure differences in magnetic forces. The measurement of these differences is less than 1 in 50,000 of the magnetic forces that are on the surface of the Earth. The quick and accurate measurements of these small magnetic forces are at the core of the functioning of the equipment. Senses can measure the small differences in magnetic forces that are from 3 to 6 feet below the surface of the ground. Census is Census equipment is so useful for the discovery of subterranean archaeology because it measures so accurately the differences in magnetic forces. Of all the artifacts that census can discover from the ground, nothing is quite so easy as the discovery of an ancient fire pit. The heat of a fire 1,600 years ago changed the magnetic patterns of the soils and rocks that were surrounding the fire. Even if the ancient fire pit is buried several feet under the ground, census will find it. These accurate and quick measurements are essential for the success of our efforts. In Ohio, we learned that if, that if we can find anything, we can find fire pits. The images of uh, post holes and ditches 
came into view because of the effect of burnt materials that were associated with the fires. These scientific facts allow us to develop our plan for discovery. Magnetometers measure magnetic differences. These differences tell us where fire pits are located. The ancient city of Zarahemla had at least 10,000 small fire pits in homes and industries. The task is clear and simple. We run the census equipment over the cornfields that were once part of the city of Zarahemla. With two operators working two shifts, we can scan 100 acres in 12 hours. After we scan for 30 days, we will have 3,000 acres of coverage. Each acre has hundreds of millions of data points that will be plotted on digital maps. In three weeks, two experts will look at the images from 3,000 acres. They will first look for the density of fire pits. Where the fire pits are the densest will be the location of the city of Zarahemla. Once that location is known, we will then look for shapes that are associated with buildings. Then we will dig into the ground to get good samples for radiocarbon dating. We expect that these samples will confirm that fire pits were from the late time period of the Book of Mormon, i.e. 3rd or 4th centuries. The large number of fire pits equals city and radiocarbon dates from the 3rd and 4th centuries equal Book of Mormon dates. Conclusion, we have found the location for the city of Zarahemla.